So today we're gonna take advantage of the low tide. Jacqueline's gonna go poke bowling. And I have two rods. One is gonna be for crab snaring. Hopefully we can get a Dungeness or rock crab, doesn't really matter. Um, and then the second rod, I'll be using just the cast using swim bait. And uh, we do have fresh squid as well. So we don't know what we're gonna make today yet, but let's see what we can get. Think so? Yeah, I think it's too short. Oh, 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 just kidding. Something's on. It's a baby. <laughs> i just throw him back in, yeah, right? Yeah, he's too tiny. It's too small. It's a baby cap, so we'll throw it back in. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to set up my crab snare and we're going to use a shorter rod. I have an eight foot rod. We're just going to do um, some casting with the swim bait. Uh, Got to be super careful. It's so slippery out here. The rod we're using for snaring today is just a 10 foot two piece master rod and reel. Didn't customize it whatsoever. And I just have a snap swivel on the end. Just going to pull in a little bit of the slack. And we can let it rest here for about 10, 15 minutes or so. I am setting up my eight foot rod I'm gonna be using to cast. And I'm just attaching to about a four or five inch swim bait using a three quarter ounce jig head. And what I'm gonna do is also cut a small piece of squid to the hook, just so it has that little extra added flavor. Probably just gonna be casting maybe 15, 20 minutes. I'm really just doing four or five casts in one direction. No success, I'm just switching it up to another direction. Let's check out the snare. I'm just pulling any slack. And then pull in. Nope. There's 100% nothing on this. Honestly, we're not that great fishermen, but sometimes it's really just nice to come out here, enjoy the quiet, you know, apart from the crashing ocean waves, but that kind of adds to it. It's really cool to see the wildlife too. A lot of the times with people snaring here, they use squid and that really attracts seals. I don't know if you can see, but there's a seal out there. He's just patrolling the harbors. Feels light. This is the last. I'm just gonna reel it all the way in. Yo, yo, I had to pull it in because my drag just wouldn't tighten. Oh my God, this is like last cast, I'm like not even lying. We're about to leave. Yeah, this is a male too, sweet. Measuring right here to there, it's about six and a half. Last cast. Now I want to stay here for like five more minutes, but we should probably go. We're back in the kitchen and we'll be making two parts to today's recipe. Crab stock and then using that stock to make some crab bisque. Here's a timestamp if you want to skip straight to the crab bisque portion. To make the stock, we're first going to dispatch the crab that we snared. After that, we're going to cook the crab in boiling water and then remove all the meat. With the leftover shells we have from this crab and the shells we saved from our previous crab sushi video, we'll be using it to create a base flavoring for the stock. In addition to the shells, we'll also be using celery, carrots, onions, and mushrooms, which we'll chop up beforehand, putting them on the stove to cook down. Also, to add another layer of savoriness, we'll be adding in about two tablespoons of tomato paste. Once everything is cooked down, we're gonna add the star of the stock, 
the crab shells. Then we can mix all the ingredients into the pot. After that, we'll add in some white wine and water to fill about an inch higher than the ingredients. Bring this to a boil and then let it simmer for about one to two hours. The longer you let the stock simmer, the stronger the flavor you'll get out of it. So it's been about two hours and I'm gonna strain it and then add some salt to taste. We'll be straining into these containers since this is more than we need for our bisque. You can keep the stock for about a week in the fridge, but if you decide to freeze it, it can hold it for about a few months instead. Now it's time to make the crab bisque. First, dice up your shallots and then melt some butter in a pan. Once the butter's melted, cook the shallots along with some tomato paste. Then pour in the crab stock and wine and let it cook down until it reduces about to a half amount. Now I'm gonna pour the mixture into a blender and add some of the crab meat and blend it together until it's a smoother consistency. If you have an immersion blender, this might work better. Now I'm gonna pour the mixture back into the pot and add in the heavy cream and stir to mix it together. And now we should be all set to serve. So we finally made the crab bisque in our two-part adventure. Um, you can actually use the crab stock for anything, but we thought we'd go fancy, as you can see. We went extra fancy on this one. We have rolled up <laughs> celery things. Um, and then we have like giant extra pieces of crab and a huge lump crab in the middle. Yeah. So I think we can just dig in. Mmm, that's really good. Super crabby. Um, I think the consistency could be a little bit smoother if we had like an immersion blender or a Vitamix. I definitely think it would be better, but it's really good. Mm. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I think it really is all about the stock. I've seen some people use chicken stock and just add the crab meat, but that crab stock was like good on its own, honestly. All right, I'm gonna try some with the crab. Oh, I know why we went fancy with the celery. It was because some people like to add celery twice, once mm -hmm. in the stock, once in the bisque. We don't really like celery. Yeah. So here's our one bite to be healthy. I think celery's good actually. Oh, is it? Yeah, take like oh. a giant lump with the all crab right, and the- Oh, there's this. another piece over here. It's like a little snap. Yeah, that has some nice texture. This is really good. It was really good. I'm so hungry. Yeah. So if you want the recipe and you want to try it out, we'll have everything down below in the description box. Also, I know in this video we didn't really go over cleaning up crabs, so if you want to see that, we'll put it also down below. And if you'd like to see us make anything else, please let us know in the comments below. If not, thanks for watching.